Hello and welcome to the final part of my Champions League jersey review. We're looking at Group H. Um, no, I'm not wearing a Juventus shirt, but I thought it's fitting. Black and white. This is actually my last 100-year uh, commemorative jersey. Uh, pretty exact replica of the first jersey that Lask was wearing in 1908 and even almost down to the material. Um, I wear it for two reasons. A, Juventus of course is black and white stripes and very similar stripes to this so I like that. Uh, but also we have Young Boys Baron in there and there is a friendship between Young Boys and Lask so it's more for Young Boys that I'm wearing this shirt. But let's get right to it. We have three big league teams in there so this is one of the better of the top three uh, groups, I would say, uh, this year. And we saw most of those, but a few we haven't, so we'll look at it. Let's start, of course, off with Juventus. With Ronaldo's first Juventus shirt, which really is a Real Madrid jersey where they put <laughs> black stripes on there. Uh, I actually don't like it because on the back you have only a single stripe, which is broken up by a number, and it's all white. Um, just something missing. This is Barcelona strapping, even wider than Barcelona strapping for that reason. I'm not sure if this is really the best uh, look that Juventus can have. Also then, although it's a black bar across, I don't know, the black outline around the Jeep sponsor probably would do much better. It looks really looks like an H here. It's too simple. I have liked previous Juventus shirts much better, even by Adidas. I think Juventus is better if they have a strapping like I have here. I gave this five stars and I'm sticking with it. The away jersey, I don't get. Yes, it's a nice looking shirt, it looks classy, it's fashionable even, I would say. But you have an almost white home shirt and then you issue a grey beige uh, away shirt uh, that actually uses black accents on front with the Juventus logo, but then every other accent is a darker shade of the beige or the gray, whatever it is. I really don't get it. It's not an offensive shirt in terms of look. It just doesn't make sense. And for that, I also give this five stars. And while the third jersey is a nice idea with the black, and this is probably worn more often than uh, people would like, because you know you have an official away jersey, but this one I think we'll we'll see a lot more than the actual away jersey. Um, but then you know the neon is a little bit pulling me off, and also that it's this uni template that you know we already saw with Bayern. We will see soon with Manchester United. Um, I think Real Madrid has it too. As a little bit some like it's similar to what Nike does with their kids, but although Nike is now a little bit more uh, interesting, uh, it's not bad. I just wish that Juventus would not would not have such unicolored kids this year. I think that's my gripe with that, and that's why I also give this only five stars. Now Manchester United, the Manchester United home kit is actually I like more than I initially wanted to admit. The color gradient on the bottom is something you gotta get used to. And the funny thing is it looks alright with black and it looks alright with white pants. That I think is the really the surprising part of this. But I actually like how they have uh, it's mainly a red kit gradient aside. Then you have all the black stripes here so that makes a nice uh, touch. And then you have a little bit of white. I think Manchester United should wear more white pants so maybe a gradient to white would be better. The only real downside is the full color sponsor. That for me is an eyesore. If that sponsor could be in white, we are onto something here. Or at least adjust it a little bit. It just doesn't fit quite well. But overall I think this is a decent Manchester United shirt. Um, and there haven't been too many. Uh, as of late, I have to say. So I gave this 7 star and it's mainly down to the sponsor. The away jersey now, I get why they chose this pink color. It's because of uh, the pink news or however it was called. Uh, a newspaper made football news that was published in Manchester. And yeah, it's similar to Gazzetta dello Sport. Um, the shade of pink is a very light pink with a uh, slightly darker pink details. It's very, very similar to the Juventus away jersey. Just instead of using this gray beige, uh, it uses a pink tone, um, monochromatic crest, which makes sense, and then full colored sponsor. 
I wanna give this a little bit more. Maybe the full color sponsor bugs me. So, but I wanna give this an upgrade. I was very harsh in my Premier League jersey review, but I think I wanna give this a slight upgrade. That is not as bad as it could be. Similar to Juventus jersey that I wanna give five. I give this one four just because the sponsor really again doesn't fit with the shirt, honestly. And then the best one is the third jersey, I think. And I know this is the same template as with for Bayern, for Real Madrid and for Juventus, but here it actually fits all nicely together. First of all, the color I like a lot, maybe. The golden accents fit perfect together with the sponsor. This is nicely done. Then they uh, did not go for the temptation to make here the stripes in a different color. No, they make it also in dark, so it has a more unified look to it. I really like this jersey and I really hope we'll see a lot of it. I gave this eight stars. I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, also, this blue is a color that Manchester United has been using. For that reason, really, really, really thumbs up. Um, I like this one. I'm almost, of the three Manchester United jerseys, I'm almost tempted most by this one. Although I'm not the biggest Manchester United fan, I gotta admit, but I acknowledge their role as probably the big team in England that has actually quite some history to it, so um, gotta give it to them. Now, Valencia with their 100-year jersey. Uh, this one, when I looked at it first, I thought it looks okay. You know, Valencia jerseys are white with some black. Uh, and then the Golden Crest is, of course, they have the cent centenary jersey. However, when I see it in play, uh, there's just something not connecting. And for me, it's mostly the white pants with the black socks. This was worn with black pants. Yep, I would like it better. But um, there is already some color missing that the crest is uh, black and gold. And, you know, it doesn't have the nice um, yellow and red and then a little bit blue around. It's just too plain. The more I look at this, the less I like it. I like what the look they're going for. The plain white jersey uh, is great. Uh, the sponsors may be a little bit too clunky, but overall, all right. Get rid of the smartphones then uh, this would be better, but I like that the white stripes, you know, you don't see the Adidas branding too much, but it could have been golden, that would have given it much. I'm sorry, I have to downgrade this one, and I give this, I go down from 8 to 7. Uh, the more I see it, the less I like it. I'm sorry to say, and I'm wearing a Sentinel jersey. See, there's a third connection. I don't, don't have a connection to Manchester yet. Uh, the away jersey, although it's a template I like much better because this has some Valencia touched it. First of all, full colored crest, always a nice thing. Uh, the shade in the navy is great and then you have the orange and orange has been used by Valencia before. So I'm not gonna give this against them. It's very similar to the Lyon jersey, probably even the exact same. I'm gonna look this up here quickly. Yeah, it's pretty much the same jersey. The Lyon jersey has a button on top, but other than that, this is the exact same jersey. Uh, this has, has the crew neck collar, but yeah, it looks all right. It looks all right and it uh, connects well with Valencia, so I give this eight stars. And then we are the Swiss champions, young boys, Baron, and I really would so much to like this jersey. Uh, Young Boys plays, of course, in yellow with some black accents, but I really don't like this black stripes down the middle. This really looks like a race car. Unfortunately, last, last season had pretty much the same look. The stripes were a little bit wider, especially the middle one. It just looks too plain, honestly. And then uh, the touch with the founding date, 1898, is a nice one. Um, but the orange sponsor also doesn't fit. If the sponsor was in black, I guess I would give this a little bit more leeway. But it's too plain for me. I actually, since now my brother is living in Switzerland, I was almost wanting to tell him to get me a Young Boys uh, jersey. No, not this one. Not this one. I didn't even mention it to him. So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I really like the one that they had in 2010 where they had... Uh, thin yellow stripes, but it was painted, it was similar to the Africa Kids, I really love that one. This one, uh, unfortunately, doesn't do it for me. Um, and also the orange sponsor, yes, it's a big chain, that's exactly the logo they have. 
just just doesn't look right to me. And I guess for that reason, I think I'm gonna give this only six stars. And then the away jersey is actually worse. <laughs> Sorry to say, it's the white version. And again, uh, yellow and white, they're not well contrasting colors. I would actually expect more black kit, or something like that. Uses the same template. And then you have the orange sponsor, the full colored crest. And for once, the full colored crest doesn't fit well here. Uh, with the orange and the yellow, no, no, no. I'm sorry, young boys. I really would love to like your jersey, but this is this is not good. Uh, I'm gonna give this four. It's not super fancy. It just doesn't fit very well. Well, and there you have it. We've reviewed all Champions League jerseys of this season. I might go uh, later when we have the knockout stage. Maybe we can look at a few jersey matchups or something like that. But for now, I think. That's good. Next up is the Europa League. That's a whole lot more work. But it will be also interesting because there are a lot of interesting jerseys in there of teams that we usually don't talk about a lot. And that's what I love. I hope you like this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about all these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this, especially if you want to stay tuned for the Europa League. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.